your whole Before it was already over. Jay, this won't hurt, I promise. This is my special boo-boo light. In fact, it's magic. Did you ever see a magic boo-boo light before? He had no business being on his brother's sled. That darn thing's bigger than he is. You need it downstairs. TJ's a lucky boy, Mrs. Foley, but I'd keep an eye on him. If he complains of nausea or dizziness, or even if he just seems drowsier than normal, give me a call, OK? That's not magic, that's just a flashlight. Oh, yeah? Here, blow. See? <laughs> See you later. Well. She's gone, Trigby. No, damn it, there's still a chance. Give me that. Trigby, she's gone. She wasn't going to make it anyway. Get off that. Let's break it down. What happened? Some bastard clobbered her up near Poor Farm Road and left her there. She was lying in the snow by that pond. Do we know who this is? Martha Taverner. Martha Taverner. Oh, I've met her. I even treated her once, I think, when you were on vacation, Trigby. Remember? Still out there, whoever did this. Could be anywhere. Hey, Dad. Yep. Three ounces ground cumin seed? Mm-hmm. Yuck. What's cumin seed? Oh, that is absolutely the most crucial, fantastic, top secret ingredient of my entire chili. Hi, Mom. Hi. Jacob! Jake's parking is getting sloppier than ever. Man. There's cars all over the place. Ben? I swear I could hardly even get mine in the garage. Parking at right would feel too much like work. Mm. <laughs> hey. Hey. You're trembling. Mm. I'm just it's cold. cold. Dad, this stuff's freaking out. In a minute. Carolyn, what? We had an event at the hospital today. Event? Dad, come quick. <sighs> Fred. Dr. Ryan. You haven't called me doctor since we <laughs> first moved up here. Hey there. Chief, out of uniform today. What's up? Uh, sorry to barge in on you like this right here at supper time. Get you something, Fran? A beer if you're not on duty? No, no, Ben, that's okay, thanks. Um, is Jacob around? He's up in his room, I guess, with those damn headphones on. You know Jacob. You didn't see him come in? I was in the studio. Can you need him for something? You want us to get him, Fran? I'll go. Yeah, come on, then. Is there something wrong? <sighs> OK, 
Okay. Uh, something happened out on Poor Farm Road today. Something pretty bad. A, a girl got herself killed. I know. I saw her. What? We had her in ER. Beyond saving, I mean, it was... It was awful. Jeez. That's what I was going to tell you when I came in. God. What does that have to do with Jacob? Oh, God. I don't want to have to tell you this. I really don't. Jacob was seen with the girl. He picked her up from work. She works down at JC's after school making ice cream cones. He came by in his car and they went off together like they've been doing. As far as we know right now, he was the last person with her. Are you saying Jacob was dating that girl, Martha Taverner? No, no. What he's, what he's saying is he's, <laughs> he's standing here in our kitchen saying that he thinks our son was, oh, for crying out loud, ben, friend. Hey, hey. Let's not jump the gun here. I just need to talk to Jacob! Stop there. I look Well, that's alone. crazy. I, I, his car's in the garage. I just saw it. I Do just you have can't... a spare set of keys for the car? Yeah, I think I do. Yep. Daddy! Yeah. Something's happened, Judith, but there's been a misunderstanding. We'll explain later, okay? Mm -hmm. okay, okay? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't do this. Do what? You can't do this. You can't go snooping around in somebody else's car. I mean, legally, that's my car. You do not have a search warrant. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sure there's some very simple explanation for all of this. Jacob and the Taverner girl must have separated somehow before this even happened. You know, maybe he just dropped her off somewhere. Maybe she got out of the car and walked away. There's a thousand different... Bran, how do we know he's all right? Maybe some madman did something to both of them. And maybe Jacob's hurt or he's kidnapped. Oh, my God. Carolyn, for his own sake, that car might give us some answers. No. <gasps> Are you his parents? You want to protect them? I, I've got kids, too. Ben, is there something that you know that you're not telling me? How about it, Judith? You know what? Hey, hey! No, 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 no. Off limits! Leave her out of this, please, okay? Please, please, Ben. I'll tell you what I know. Just, I know my son. He's just trying to help us find him, darling. I don't want it to be like this. But if I have to, I will go find Judge Grady and I will get a search yeah, warrant. Yeah, yeah. Well, you right do that. Okay. Okay. You looked upstairs? You sure? You looked every place? We should have let him look in the car, Ben. The hell we should have. Not without a lawyer telling me I have to. Now, we've got rights here. And wherever he is, whatever they think he did, Jacob has rights to. We just have to take this one step at a time, OK? You and I will look in the house, top to bottom. I'll take out the garage and studio. And if he's not there, we'll just start calling his friends. Carolyn, better call Wendell, too.
Wendell. Mom? Wait, wait. When Fran comes back, we'll be perfectly... I know it's a small town, but it's our town, too. He will, I promise. I promise. Just hurry, okay? Lawyers. Mom? Yeah? Jacob was really mad this morning. He said he might not even go to school. Why? What happened? He and Daddy, you know, they, they had another fight. What? You know that Jacob wants to turn a big car for the winter dance and, like, ride around all night? Mm-hmm. So Daddy goes, how are you planning to pay for it? We've got rules about this sort of thing, mister. It's time you learn to pay your own way, Jacob. Mom, he knows Jake could never save up in time. He knows that. Mm -hmm. But, like, Jake's such a big dope, he already promised rides to all his creepy friends. He's already bragged about it to Martha. Martha? You knew about this girl? Jude, how long how have they been going out? Since September. He made me swear I wouldn't tell. Jake said to Daddy, you think because you're this big artist, it's like rules don't apply to you, but they should always apply to me. You're a hypocrite, Jake said. And then Daddy, Daddy just totally lost it. But it was never that bad. Mom, I'm so scared. Hmm. You didn't see their faces. They hmm. weren't there. But Daddy's just... He wants Jacob to be more responsible, so he tries to challenge his pride. Maybe too hard sometimes, but that's love, Jude. You know, that's love.
What are you doing, Ben? Having a look at my car. Don't I have a right to be in my own garage? How long you been out here? A couple of minutes. All I did was look around, and I sure didn't see anything wrong either. Keys, Ben. What about the warrant? Oh, ben, you are asking for trouble on this. You're not thinking clear. Now, how can I help you? You don't even trust me. It's all yours. such a mess. I've got supplies to move around. Hard stuff. I can't use Carolyn's car. She has a fit. And the Jeep's too small. What about the floor? Where'd all this sawdust come from? All these little pieces of new wood. You think I'm stupid, Ben? You think I'm quaint? OK. So I looked in there. Maybe some sawdust drifted out. Is that a crime? This car is officially impounded. And I want to tell you something. If it turns out your kid is in trouble, then you are in trouble, too. Now, let's have a look at his room. You're searching Jacob's room? You damn right I am. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, if you find his bed, let us know. We haven't seen it in years. Yeah, I don't like your attitude. It's not exactly what I would call decent under the circumstances. Well, we haven't had much practice, Fran, under the circumstances. All right, I want to look in that closet. First, I want to look in this truck. Bottom of it. See if there's anything there. So let's get the bed. looking for him. Well, now. Hidden in his top drawer. So? So, that's a link, don't you think? This proves that they knew each other. Man. Nobody's pretending they didn't. Sorry, I'm late. I'm so sorry. If that's even her. Oh, it's her, Wendell. It is Martha Taverner. Here's the search warrant. Uh, I want a complete inventory of all the items that you're removing from this house with a signed receipt. Jacob, you're a tire jack. My. Well, I'm just wondering why a beat up old Chevy has the jack from a 94. Park. Whoa, 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 hold on. Don't answer that. Fran, fishing season starts in April. Let's you and I go outside and talk, huh? Look, Jacob may 
not even have proof of here, but they are putting themselves in front of the law, Wendell, and that does not help anybody. I understand that as a friend. Listen, listen, listen to me. There was blood in the car. Blood? Her blood on his jack, blood everywhere. How do you know it was her blood? For God's sake, it might be his. Show me. I want no, to see it. No, you don't want to. Believe me. Anyway, it's been taken care of. What? What do you mean, taken care Lord of? Whatever wouldn't burn, I burn. The jack I took apart, I washed it clean. Oh, no. But there was no time to... They might find something anyway. Fibers or some little microscopic. God only knows what sort of test they've what got. What are you saying? If we just had more time. You can't just... You can't just destroy evidence that might save him. You can't just... What if you've destroyed evidence that would prove he's innocent? Please, just stop one minute, please. We have to think. We have to decide. What? What have we got to decide? Nothing's gonna bring that girl back. I'm sorry, but it's too late. We've got to think of Jacob. But Jacob's innocent. Jacob's not a killer. If anything, he's in danger himself. How do you know that they were alone in that car? Someone else might have been there and killed that girl and taken Jacob, but now you're doing everything you can to keep the police from finding him. Okay, they're gone. You wanna tell me whatever it is you know? Hey, 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 look, look, I'm your friend. And I love Jacob, Jesus. Sat through every damn class play of his. I gave him 50 bucks last year for the bike-a-thon. I'm on your side. Wendell, there is something you should know. Hey! What is that? What is that, Ben Ryan? Are you going to presume now to tell me when I can speak and when I have to be quiet? You can keep your own tongue if you want to, but you... Jacob! Hello? Yes. Who is this? Well, I hope you sleep well tonight. You're a person of true compassion. That one's better if you just... Yes, up. it's a first well-wisher. Yes, you are. Aren't you proud? Oh, well, you haven't got much of a brain, but you've got mighty qu quick reflexes. Okay, honey. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. all over this area and somebody just buried their dog there. Oh. We dug it up and put it back. Thank you. 
to live my life. And this town has its needs, too. It doesn't just revolve around us and our problems. I'll either be back in 15 minutes with a black eye, or I'll be there all day. Hey. I love you. I love you. We just have to believe that somehow he'll he'll find his way back to us. He will. But there is some other explanation for all this. I know there is. I know it. Postmarked the day before yesterday. Carolyn, he's alive. This is crazy. This isn't Jacob. Th that's his handwriting. No, no, no. Somebody made him write this. What's the difference? The point is, at least right now, he's okay. What are you doing? I'm calling Fran. I, I think Fran. it's important. Fran! Carolyn, listen to me. Will you just, just listen to me? If Fran sees this, the first thing he'll do is get a court order to intercept our mail and tap our phones. Then you can forget about ever hearing from Jake again. And that's just for starters. They'll slap a manhunt all over Boston. He'll run again, God knows where. Think about it. Do we really want him caught? I just want my boy back. I just want to hold him again. I just... I just want my boy. <laughs> And Ryan. Keep your chin up, you hear? Sorry, Joe. I'll take the change.
see you for my eight o'clock. Um, Mrs. Weber canceled, doctor. She said you'd understand. Okay. Good night. St. Louis on March the 11th. That's the third card. Then he was in L.A. just Hi. two days later. It's a new one, California. What's this doing out? This spoils. That's it? That's your whole reaction? Look, you won't show these to Fran. All right. But you won't even show them to Wendell, Benny. And he's our lawyer. He's our friend. If this gets out, we don't know how it might be used against him. Mm. In fact, it might come in handy later that we keep quiet. Handy? Wait, wait. Hello? Wendell? What's... Turn on the TV, channel 3. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Cross America. Stop. Jacob Ryan, the 16-year-old Highland resident who is a suspect in the murder of Martha Tavener, was a fugitive for five weeks. The teenager, as reported moments ago, was arrested this afternoon in the building you see behind me. Apparently, the young fugitive was hiding in a friend's apartment. We understand that he is now being held in the juvenile detention center, and it is expected that he will be arraigned sometime tomorrow. sister she wanted us to ask you um the postcards were, were you really in all those places Jake? or were you here the whole time in your friend darren's apartment huh? your dad asked you a question honey are you gonna talk to us I don't think you're going to be able to hold out like this forever, do you, Jack? Policemen can't hear you, and we have told them nothing. Are you still mad at me? Is that it? You know, your father has stood up for you. Tell me, you realize please. That? Jake. God damn it, mister. Have you any idea what you Maybe put us doesn't through? Even know. Any do you idea? even know why you're here? Have they told you? Do you know what happened to Martha Tavern? There is a warrant for you back in Highland. Yeah, Do you understand right. that? But you may be able to come home. First, they just have to have a, a, a hearing in front of a judge. And, and Wendell By will be right there with you, and Daddy and I will be right there. And you better speak up then, Jake, in court. Jake. Can you look at us? What's the matter with you? Do some thinking about what you're going to say to Wendell. Don't waste his time, too.
Jacob Ryan, you've heard the charge against you. In juvenile proceedings, we enter a plea of true or not true. How say you to this charge? Not true. Jacob Ryan is a longtime resident. He's a fine student. He's always been a flawless character. And he is still, at the moment, a minor. And therefore, we respectfully request that he be released on bond. Jacob Ryan is charged with a terrible and almost unthinkable crime. Moreover, the people will prove that he exacerbated that crime after the fact by his cunning, deliberate, and cold-blooded destruction of evidence. No parent in this town, and surely no daughter, could feel safe with Jacob Ryan on the loose again. The people urge that bail be denied. Marion, I'm just not persuaded this boy is a threat to the general community. Your Honor, I was also thinking of their threat to him. Defendant, please rise. Pre-trial release granted. Bond set at $250,000. You say you misunderstood. Now listen, mister. You can do whatever the hell you want to with your catatonic self. But don't even think about opening this door. You hear me? Dude. Jacob, I made you some cookies. Jacob? Maybe you... Maybe you want to have some soup first or a sandwich or something. Mom, what's wrong with him? I think we just have to give him a few days, sweetie. We fought that morning. I raised my fist to him. I would have hit him. And we both knew it, Carolyn. I sent him out into the world in that kind of rage. But you didn't, Penny. You didn't hit him. And people do fight. They argue all the time. To blame for this, how can I ever make it up to him? We don't even know what happened yet. If we start blaming ourselves or, or each other, how are we going to get through this? When he's ready and when he's able, he'll tell us what happened. He will. Right now, the only important thing is that we're all together. got eyewitnesses and they're not claiming to have someone who actually saw the murder at least not yet and what exactly do these people claim to have seen 
The two of them in his car, I would guess. His car stopped, maybe, up on uh, Poor Farm Road. Prosecutor says they have proof that Jacob destroyed evidence. Well, she has to say that, doesn't she? Still haven't found the murder weapon. But, but surely that helps our, our case. I mean, you're saying that we get a lousy case. Circumstantial, yes. I'm saying that's possible. Then I don't understand, Wendell. Why are you dropping out on us? <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh... It's not that. Look, I, I do mortgage closings. <laughs> you need an expert now, criminal guy. And believe me, this guy I'm telling you about, he is the best. Uh, Panos Damaris, Greek American, lives over in Springfield. He's lost maybe one case in his whole life. They'll have Jacob's jury voting for sainthood. And what about the truth of what happened? Doesn't that matter? The truth, Mrs. Ryan? The truth isn't always so simple. I just meant, do you have to believe someone is innocent in order to take his case? A lot of my clients haven't been innocent of anything you'd care to lay on them since they were five years old. But they still deserve a good defense, right? Uh, do you mind if I eat what we thought? Is this late lunch, Mr. Demiris, or early dinner? This is breakfast, I think. I had a free trial meeting and never did stop. OK, so. Your son, Jacob. Now, from what you told me, he seems like a pretty regular kid. I mean, even these silences, you know, hoping if he hangs tough long enough, maybe this whole thing will just disappear. <laughs> Teenagers, huh? God help us. But uh, let me um, let me ask you something. Now, please, take this as a neutral question, okay? It's not an accusation of any kind, but anger. Does Jacob have any particular problem expressing his anger? Does he tend to keep things bottled up? Does he ever just explode? You see, I'm asking you because if there's any history here, I mean, even just a whiff, I have to hear it from you. Mr. And that's impressive. Yeah, no. there's, there's no history here. Jacob's a very, he's a very kind person, decent, caring. You'd like him. Sure, sure. But you have to understand, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan. No, I'm sorry, is it Mr. and Doctor? Ben and Carolyn. OK. Now, you have to understand, juries in cases of this nature they tend to be very emotional. They tend to feel that where there's smoke, there's fire. And hey, I mean, I could be up there arguing that Jacob is the most perfect kid in the world. That's one strategy. But what they'll be thinking, what they'll see in their mind's eye, I'll never forget, is this. You can't. Oh you can't do this. No. You Dr. cannot Ryan, just I'm... sit here and eat a sandwich and display such. How do you expect us to survive this? Dr. Ryan, I'm not being unsympathetic. Don't infer that. But this has got nothing to do with sympathy. I thought you told me you'd seen this corpse. This is not just any corpse. This is a girl that I knew, that I once treated. Just because you see this kind of thing every day, you spend all your time with violent, horrible people. But we don't, Mr. No. Damaris. We don't. No, well, then you're very lucky. I'm a physician, and there isn't much I haven't seen, but this is my son you're talking about. You may like to remember, Dr. Ryan, it's always somebody's son or Don't daughter. you patronize me, sir, because I can... Hey, do... hey, 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 hey. Let's calm down. All of us, Carolyn. This isn't getting us anywhere. Come on. Look, I'm sorry, folks. But if you don't like me now, what are you going to say when I have to get up in front of that jury and argue that your son is not guilty by reason of diminished mental capacity. That he was drunk, stoned, hey, hey, yes, wait, wait, bombed wait, out wait, of his skull on crack. My son does not do drugs. He may be your son, Mr. Ryan, but he would be my client, and I would not ask your permission for how I choose to defend him. I'm going to have to do whatever it takes. And if you don't like my style, wait till you hear the prosecution. Listen, Dr. Ryan, you want to jump in the trenches with me? 
Well, you better muscle up and lose your bedside manner and trust me to be as good at my job as you are at yours. Will you do it, Mr. Damaris? Will you take our case? For your son, yeah. Yeah, I'll defend Jacob. Can I just ask you one question? Did you ever really go anywhere, Jake? Okay. That's cool. I understand. But just so you know, when you were in that jail, I tried to come. They wouldn't let me. Jake, I really wanted to see you. They act like they have to protect me from all of this. Sure, they can't even protect themselves. And I hear plenty. I know what's going on. Like, Mom's had to close her office. She says it's just temporary. Sure, give me a break. Well, anyway. That's all I just wanted to ask about the postcards. No big deal. Should wait. Don't go. Once or twice a week, I'd take the train out to Logan Airport. Then I'd find a flight that was going to where I wanted to go. And then I'd find somebody that wouldn't mind mailing a card for me when they got there. And I said that. I'm home from vacation. I forgot to send this, and I don't want my parents to think I don't miss them. And I like I'd sit in one of those chairs, you know, in the waiting area at the airport. I'd shut my eyes like this and sit. I went there with them. I went to all those places, Jude. You won't say anything, will you? Nobody else would understand. Very biblical. And I take it you would like to cast the first one, huh? Now, I want you to listen very carefully. No, no, you listen. I want you to know, you good citizen, that my son is innocent. He's a free young man, legally here on bond, against whom nothing has been... No, no, you're wrong. Unless he's convicted in a court of law, he is no more guilty than you are. So sleep tight, pal. And hey, have a wonderful time in church. Yeah, Dad, you're so cool. You really believe that? Well, of course I do. Our whole system of justice. I don't mean our system. I mean about me. Do you believe that I'm not guilty? Jake, I don't know, but. Now that you're here, we can, we can talk about that. But 
whatever the truth is. We're standing by you, absolutely. Oh, that's just a bunch of sentimental bullshit. I mean, hey, me. Hey, George not so Davis. fast. Sentimental bullshit? Everybody's parents say stuff like that. Oh, do sure. they? Do they really? And do they hide the weapon and destroy evidence and sure. lie to the police? Do they indeed? You know this for a fact? supposed to just sit here and talk about killing somebody. Jake, stop running, please. You're home now. Stop running. If I tell you what happened, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, all right? I kept meaning to tell you guys. I wanted you to know, but I, I told Marcy you guys were cool, but the idea of having to meet you, having to converse with you, it just spooked her somehow. That day we had a terrible argument. From the moment I picked her up at the ice cream shop at JC, she was on my case about not having a rental car for the winter dance. She was saying it's your way, ours, finally saying she's not good enough for me. I, I tried to explain her, but she just, she kept yelling at me as I was trying to drive. She said, pull over right here. And it turns out, I'm not the one she's mad at, really. She's mad at everyone and everything. God especially for letting this happen to her, because it turns out I'm pregnant. It gets even more complicated. Because she didn't think it was ours. She wouldn't say who's it might be, but obviously she's been, you know, getting around. I never even had a clue. She figured it wasn't ours because we were always so careful. She's getting all wound up. I hate you. I never want to see you again. You know, she's even mocking me for, like, taking care with her, for using... Like, only a wimp would, would think ahead like that. I said, that's it. Let's go. You can have your baby or not. You can stay with your caveman or not. I don't care. So then she got all sort of... Jake, wait. Don't go yet. show you. We stayed for a while longer. I sort of made up and it was nice, but by now we we're both so tired. So wiped out, it was beginning to get late. So I finally started up the car. And that was that. Trying to rock it in, pushing it. First me, then both of us. We, we even tried putting floor mats under the wheels. See, we just didn't, ended up digging ourselves in deeper. So finally she says, get the jack. Pack some snow into the ruts and jack it up. I know, that didn't even work. This is the reason I can't be with you. So now we're both really pissed off again, and let shit like this happen. Just shut up, all right? If I were with Kevin or Matt, I'd be home by now. What I the hell? Why are I you said such a shut up, all right? <sighs> I'm a rich kid. 
fucking pussy. Pussy ring. Then shut I just lost it. Do I have to do this? Please? Yes. You have to. She still had the crowbar. You... Miss me by one inch, I swear, just one inch. Just that one word, murder, it sounds so impossible to imagine. It wasn't even something I was trying to do it. It wasn't even me. If I just missed her by one inch. One inch, just like... Like she did me. <sighs> My biggest problem would be, do I say hello to her when I see her in the school hall? Something, Ben. If he tells it that way in court, the same way he told it to us. He wouldn't be telling it to people who love him. No, they'll believe him. They'll see that it was just an accident. Are you prepared to bet his freedom on that? Well, what's the answer then? Of course he has to tell them. Ben, of course he has to tell them. Let him tell Panos first, okay? We're not lawyers, Carolyn. There might be a certain way this should be, I don't know, presented. I'll take him in tomorrow morning, okay? Pretty early. Wasn't going anywhere. They kept the car. But it's clean. At least I hope to God. Yeah, Mom said something, too, last night. Oh, Jake. It's not important, all that stuff. Trust me. It's not a problem anymore. Oh, Dad, you can go to jail, too. If they have to take one of us, better it's me. What are you saying? Jacob, listen to me. That night when I came out here, I didn't even know what I was doing. Pure instinct. But maybe I bought us a chance. They've got no murder weapon, no physical evidence, no witnesses. And we never heard your confession. You understand me? You never said it, and we never heard it. Jake, 
You're not required to testify against yourself. Now that's fair. That's legal. That's how the system works. So, if, if we all just keep quiet, maybe they've got no case. Maybe... Maybe you'll walk away from this with some kind of a life still ahead of you. Yeah, but, but, but there are witnesses. I mean, people drove by and they saw us part. But you're not denying you were there. You were stuck in the snow, right? You had that argument and you walked away from her, mad. Left her with the car and the keys. So you don't know what the hell happened when she was out on that road alone. And neither do we. Wait a minute, but the car was here. You reconsidered. You came back and you found her. And you just panicked. Isn't that possible? Because you knew you'd be a suspect. Drove back here, still in a state of shock, and took off for Boston. Foolish, yes, but not murder. I wish there was some other way. I stayed up all night racking my brains. Any other way that might be safe. If I just told the truth. The fact that you ran away, never went for help, never came forward at all. Jake, how's that gonna look? You don't have to convince the jury. That's up to Panos. And let the prosecution take their shots. All I'm saying is, let's just not make their case for them. So I thought, I figured since the police were bound to suspect me, they'd also be looking for the car, so I thought I'd better hitchhike. really stupid and dumb of me, but... You know, I, all of it is just a blur. Mr. Demers, everything after I walked back and found her there. Well, Jacob, what if I said it seemed pretty clear to me that you did it? You hit her on the head with something, then you just took off. But I didn't. No, no, no. I'm the prosecution now. And you're the guy who smashed her up. How are you going to prove to me you didn't do it? Well, I... <clears throat> you don't answer that. Now, remember, Jacob, you don't have to answer that question. They have to answer it. They have to prove something on you. You do not have to prove the opposite. So, <clears throat> how does it look? Well, the grand jury sits next Monday, but we've still got a hell of a lot to prepare. I mean, trial starts Monday? No, 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 no. It's not a trial. Not yet. No, the grand jury simply weighs up the facts and decides whether there's enough evidence to indict you. Now, if you're very, very lucky, you may not even go to trial. But I'll have a better idea once I see the final witness list and forensics. Thanks. See ya. Oh, Jake. I'm sorry. I I'm a little slow sometimes. I I'm just curious. Let me ask you something. What were the two of you fighting about? I, I mean, wh wh what got you so mad? <laughs> I can't believe I let this go. Well, she was pregnant for one thing. I think you better sit down again, kiddo. Come on, son. This was somebody else's. At least she said it was. What? This is good? Oh, this is very good, my friend. This is the best news I've heard all day. And you're convinced that it couldn't possibly have been yours. What do you mean? I mean... You know. Right. You know. Well, yeah, but we're all, we're always safe. You can yeah. say it, son. And she she swore this is somebody else's. Now the first thing we do is we go to the medical examiner, get a full DNA report. I'm already on it. Yeah, no, sweet. I don't. We still don't understand. It's called reasonable doubt, Mr. Ryan. Suppose Jacob and Martha were followed by someone with good reason to be jealous. Suppose the wrong boyfriend got arrested? 
so. So what? How do you think it went? Did he like it, you mean, or did I like it? Like what? Your story. Well, yes. My story, I guess. Our story. Jake, are you all right? Remember that last morning? That argument we had? Remember what you said to me? You said that it's time that I learned to pay my own way. And you called me a hypocrite. Jake, if you're not okay with this, we can go back there. I mean it. It's still not too late. Oh, man. You sure this is the best thing to do? sure of anything in my life since February 12th, but it's what we've got, son. It's what we're down to. All I'm proposing is that we save your life first. Later on, we can worry about your soul. Is that being a hypocrite? I don't know. But the worst thing you can be called in this world is someone who didn't stand up for his family. I... What? I really am grateful for everything you're trying to do for me. I am grateful, okay? I really mean it. Come on. Without a word, Ben? Not one word? It's Jacob's choice. Jacob's life. And you had nothing to do with it. We discussed his options, yeah. Options? Benny, he's your boy. And he's scared, and he's afraid, and he would do anything right now. He would say anything if he thought he could win back your approval. He, he never lost it. He never lost it. And hey, if you don't know he deserves yours too, then you've got a serious goddamn problem. How dare you? How dare you? It's done, Carolyn, okay? It's taken care of. Just like you took care of the evidence. That's right. You never even had to dirty your precious hands. Trim a little here, add a little there. How could I forget how clever you are at making things? Well, one of us had to do something, and Do you fast. think you've made it easier on him now? Do you see, do you not see that you have tied his hands? Now he has you to defend, as well as himself. What do you want? What? That he should pay with the next 20 years, the next 30 years of his life, for one mistake, for one moment? That he should come out of prison a, a middle-aged man? Who does that benefit? Who? Sooner or later, somebody's gonna have to be forgiven. Him for what he did, or us because we did nothing when we had a chance to save him. Wouldn't you rather forgive him? Good news. Okay. I uh, stopped at the lab on the way up here. Now, they had the ME's fetal tissue analysis, and they had that blood sample that we submitted from Jacob. Okay, this gets pretty technical, but... Jacob wasn't the father. Bingo. Oh, man, listen to me. Tell the doctor what's technical. But this works both ways, doesn't it? I mean, they could say he was jealous. This gives him a motive. This lets us go after the girl, attack her character. Martha Tavenage is blue, 50 sympathy points. Look at it this way. This introduces doubt. 
And that kiddo is our very best friend. Mrs. Ryan. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, Mrs. Ryan, we'll see you day after tomorrow at 10. Yes, that's fine. Stop it up. Stop the whole bunch of I didn't testify and I won't testify. So you can print any damn thing you want to. Here, get this one. You didn't testify? There's got to be some protection, some immunity, some, some, some kind of privilege so they can't try to make you snitch on your own flesh and blood. Why don't you write that? There's such a thing as the Fifth Amendment, you know. Yeah, ask my lawyer. Arnold, weren't you listening to me? I told you, if you had anything to ask, to come out and ask me. I didn't have any questions. Find me some privilege. Forget you. Find me some privilege. What? Make something up? There's no such thing as parent-child immunity. There ought to be. You know what you're asking for? You're asking to go to jail for contempt for starters. You're asking for me to go to jail, too, and I'm not doing any such thing for you. You're acting as if we got something to hide about Jacob. They twisted every word I said, tried to trick me into some kind of conflicting evidence. Well, I won't play that game with them. I told them so. I gave them a statement of principle. Oh, yeah? And what was that principle? I think I missed that part. I don't bargain for my son, and I won't help them to convict him. Jesus, Ben. I won't testify, Benos. Not today, not ever. If I have to go to jail, so be it. And if there was any more I could do, you better believe I'd do that too. Give me a minute, Ben, please. Mom, can I talk to you? Mm-hmm. Mom, they're lying. They're completely changing the truth of what happened. How can you let them do that? Well, people don't go to court necessarily to tell the truth about everything that happened. They, um, they go to defend themselves the best way they can. But you heard Jacob, and you know what happened. Are you just gonna do what Daddy says? Jude, didn't you ever learn something about a friend of yours, some secret? But you knew if you told her, it would just hurt her feelings, so you didn't tell. I mean, that's not... That's not lying, exactly. It's... You just didn't volunteer something. Just because that's what people do? Just because they might get away with it? Does that mean you have to lie? Sometimes... You just... You're too young to understand some things. That's all. I'm just beginning to learn some of them myself. Someday, darling. Don't tell me someday! Understand I can't Daddy stand is. it when you say someday! Mom, this is happening to me right now. You let Daddy convince you. It's disgusting. Nobody even cares what I think. I'm just a stupid little kid. Nobody even thinks that I could go and tell. What do you mean, tell? You figure it out. Judith! Sleep. Mm -mm. Abraham and Isaac. Remember that story? God says to Abraham, prove your faith. Take Isaac, your beloved son, and sacrifice him. Why? Because I'm God. Because I say so. And Abraham is willing. He's very sad, but he'll do it. He'll cut his own son's throat, if that's what God requires. Very obedient, Abraham. But very righteous. But when they tell that story, they always miss the point. Who'd want him for a father?
morning, Carol. First time you've donated blood? Mrs. Taverner. Oh, please. This has been, for me, for all of us, it's the hardest. I've just, I've spent a thousand hours sleep, not sleeping, thinking about Martha, and I just want you to know how sorry I am. I am so sorry. I know it won't change anything, but... Oh, God, if you could... What? If I could what? If you could somehow... look at us as human, as a family, I mean, just as a family that's also so helpless. What do you have to be helpless about? You tell me that. She was alive in the morning when I said goodbye to her. You're a doctor. You think about this where she is now. And nothing you say is going to get any pity out of me. Oh, I'm not asking for your pity. I'm, I'm just... You're trying to get him off. With your big shot lawyer and all your money. He's free to walk the streets right now and you're trying to get him off. People like you think they own the world. Stay inside. Call the police. No, Ben! Yeah, don't! Hey! Come here, you bastard! I did it! Let's get out of here! Ben! Hey! Hey, come on! Jake, Jake, please! Infection. Okay? You may start to feel drowsy now from that shot. So if you do, you just put your head down, okay, love? Okay. Mom? Mm-hmm. Jude is right. You know, I'd be better off if I just disappeared. Maybe I still should. Don't even say that. I don't mean just you. I mean, I mean the, the whole town. I mean, that's what they want, isn't it? No. 
No, Jake, those men, those men tonight were cowards. If you saw them tomorrow in their shops, they'd smile and nod while they gave you change. I'm the coward. I'm the coward. I'm I feel like I'm being torn apart, you know? If I hold this in, it, it, it's like... A poison, you know? And if I, t if I tell the truth, Dad will go to jail too. He'll hate me. Either way, it's the end of us. Your dad will never, never hate you. Your dad loves you so much, Jacob. And right or wrong, he always gives his whole heart. It can be pretty overwhelming sometimes because he just always seems so sure. But you don't have to be that way. You know? It is possible to disagree with someone and still love them. At a certain point, we just, we have to make our own decisions. Yeah, yeah, but he risked so much for me. Mm. He didn't even stop to count the Price, he just did it. Huh. How can I let him down? How can I do that to him? Yeah. How can you? Dr. Ryan? See? What'd I tell you? No sweat. No, I mean, I told them what really happened. What? Ben and Jacob haven't been telling you the truth, Panos. I can't believe you haven't known that. I don't know what you're going to do about this. You come with me. Talk. Sorry to say, hey, look at me. 20 minutes, come on. 20 minutes, what are they talking about? I said no stories. Okay, my turn. Jacob doesn't know, does he? Did you at least tell Ben? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, all I can say is I hope he doesn't have his son's temper because I worry about you. He doesn't have his son's temper. His son has his. This weapon, this, this, this carjack that you say killed her, where is it now? It'll never surface, I promise you. But I'm never going to say. Did you ever see it? <laughs> well, then it's hearsay. Just like this so-called confession, it's your word against Ben and Jacobs. There's still no proof. Panos, it was an accident. Why can't Jacob just tell the truth? Jacob is my client, not you, not your husband, Jacob. And there's no way I'm going to put him on that witness stand for Marion Rayner to cut to pieces. I'm going to defend your son, even if you don't. Even if it means hanging you out to dry. Me? Cold. 
vindictive. Full of crazy, paranoid fantasies about your son and his low-class lover. Honey, by the time I'm done with you, you'll look like Medea. Yes, if you try to go on hiding this, if we don't at some point accept what actually did happen. What actually happened? Carolyn, what's it gonna take for you to get this? They tell their version of the story, we tell ours, and these 12 people decide the truth. That's not the truth. You're talking about a, a contest between ad campaigns. I'm talking about saving your son. So am I. It's absolute why I did this, Panos. Finally, it's just one true thing. Absolute. I didn't ask your permission because I didn't want it. We can't afford it anymore. Oh, my dear doctor. You and your goddamn absolutes. You'll see what a shallow little thing your principles are when your family's blown to hell. And you won't be able to take back one single word. Jacob. Jacob, come on, what? wake up. Come on, hear what your mother's done. She's done on that boy. She just couldn't keep her big mouth shut. Dan, stop. Her. What come is on. it? What's wrong? She'll tell you herself. Tell him. Tell him. What kind of a life are we going to have? Hmm? What kind of a life, all of us? I love you. And I want it to save you. But save you for what? As what? Everything he's been for 16 years, everything he is, that, that wasn't enough to make him valuable? <gasps> you never wanted to save him. You brought him into this life, but you're not willing to forgive him. I forgive us all, then. Jake, for God's sake, don't listen to her. We can't give up now. Leave Believe me, alone. there's still a chance. Don't you have any faith in him at all? Jake, we can still fight this, you and me together. You we can still off. fight this. Back off, my son. What? If he's your son, then act like it. Jacob, Jakey, I did this for you, for both of you. I only was trying to oh, help come you on. To understand. You're me, asking don't a hell of a lot if you expect your own son to understand why you betrayed him. I didn't betray him. You can't. God damn it, just stop it, all right? Running again, and this time he'll never stop. No, he didn't take any clothes or food. I'm almost sure of them. Maybe he doesn't think I'll need them. Maybe he's gonna drive that thing straight into a tree. Oh my god. No, that can't be true. Ben? Carolyn? I think you better come with me. I told you. But 
You won't believe this. It turns out that it's not that easy, even if you really want to. It turns out that my statement isn't legal unless it's signed by my parents. Dad. You want this now. You think you want this, but Jake, you're still upset from last night. You're not thinking clearly. Please, I am. I am. I am thinking clearly. And I'll do my best to leave you out of this, but you might be in some trouble too, and I'm sorry. Is that what you... Oh, God, Jake. Is that what you think this was ever about? For one minute? I don't care what happens to me. Why do you think I've been doing all this? You think I'm some... some kind of a selfish bully? I've always got to have my own way? No, do you remember what you said to me? You said the worst thing you can be called is someone who didn't stand up for his family. This is my way. This is how I've got to stand up. For us. For our family. And we'll probably take it with just Mom's signature on it. But I need you to do this. I need you to do this, please. I need this for me, please. take me away from you. My son. My son. I wish we could go back. Yeah. I never knew how much you loved me. Langdale's a good judge. He's smart, he's fair, and I think I may have convinced him that prison time in this case would be completely inappropriate. I think we got a real shot. But you sure didn't leave me much to trade with. I guess we haven't been the most helpful clients you've ever had. Why didn't you quit, Panos? I told you I'd defend Jacob. Well, maybe I just wanted to see what you two would do next. Hear ye, hear ye. The third district court is now in session. The Honorable Henry Langdale presiding, all rise. Please be seated. Having reviewed all the evidence and testimony in the case of the People versus Jacob Bryan, juvenile, this court is now prepared to render judgment. Martha Taverner's death, in the opinion of this court, was neither premeditated nor deliberately caused by the defendant. There was a heated argument, a mutually reckless struggle, but no criminal intent. Young man, I'm also mindful that you've expressed deep remorse, that you've made a full and free confession and done so at your own insistence without stipulating a plea bargain. Nevertheless, you have a clear culpability by running away by covering up your involvement in the death of Martha Taverner, you cast grave doubts on your own actions. 
and you short-circuited the very protections afforded you under the law. Jacob Ryan, please rise. I find you guilty of voluntary manslaughter in the second degree. I sentence you to be taken from this place and confined at the Juvenile Correction Facility at Framingham for a period not to exceed five years. Still think it was worth it. My father had to serve almost a year for destroying evidence. Jacob was released on probation after two years. He has to go to counseling, though. So we have him back, but none of us is free. Each of us is marked forever now, before and after. I look at Jacob now and I think about how different our lives might have been. All of us. And that's the saddest part of all. Hey, Jude, look. But lately, sometimes, I can feel myself starting to come alive again. And it's scary, kind of. I don't know if that's even allowed. Maybe you can't expect to keep happiness out of your life forever any more than trouble. Your whole life can change in a second, and you never even know when it's coming.